everybody. Um, <clears throat> this video is going to be about genetic diversity in your garden. Now, if, if you've got a lot of different types of stuff growing, you'll notice that certain things are going to be different, like um, the tomatoes are going to look a little bit different than the others, um, and things that are genetically diverse. Like, I love amaranth and lamb's quarters, and the cool thing about it is it's very genetically diverse and it can crossbreed with wild varieties and other varieties very easily um, and I'm sitting right here next to a couple of them that I want to show you and this one right here um, this is the same red variety as the big one behind me that I'm about ready to show you though the one I showed in one of my last videos uh, but this one right here it got eaten by the deer the deer kind of chopped it down um, so it should be a little bit bigger but it looks like it's growing back pretty good and then this red variety right here is actually a different variety than the wild variety that grows all around here. Um, somebody planted this here at one point in this community garden and it just keeps coming back every year. But what's really cool is I've also found some that look like the wild variety that has green flowers. These have red. So it looks like the, the, the green variety but has red flowers. And I'm going to go into that a little bit more. Um, this will probably be maybe like a three-part series because there's lots of different stuff I want to touch on but the amaranth is, is really cool so let me pull the camera off of there and I'm gonna show you guys what this stuff looks like up close alright now this is the red variety of amaranth that I'm showing you now I dug these up when I planted this cucumber bed here a couple weeks ago um, I dug these up that were growing in a different spot and this one had bright red leaves uh, when it was really little and then there's one over here that had green leaves green stem green leaves this had red leaf and red stem now this red stem variety is obviously it's a cultivated variety probably from uh, the desert desert southwest or even parts of mexico and this here this little guy right here that's only maybe two and a half feet tall is the same variety as this one right here it's got a red stem it's got red flowers and this thing's already over, over 10 feet tall and the way I can tell this is a different variety is it doesn't have any branches really growing on the bottom it's all one big stem now this right here is the wild variety of amaranth that grows around here and instead of having red flowers you can see it's got green flowers and it's got lots of branches so this wild variety red root amaranth or sometimes called red root pigweed um, is really short it doesn't get really big it flowers very very quickly it goes to seed very fast and it only gets maybe maybe a couple couple feet tall I'd probably say three to five feet tall if that and this red variety that's growing in here gets obviously over 10 feet tall you can tell with that one over there and um, <clears throat> so this wild variety has got branches that start all the way down on the bottom that's like a bottom branch right there and it comes all the way over to here and the red variety which is probably red garnet or maybe Hopi red dye amaranth um, doesn't have any branches it's just one solid stem and this has got a green stem with branches that's got a red stem with no branches so let me show you some of the other ones that I found growing in this garden now I gotta show you this big 10 foot tall amaranth right here I'll start at the base this is how big the base is and it's huge it's got <laughs> it's got one one hell of a a trunk to it and it's red all the way up the stems always been red and the branches have been like a really cool red and this thing didn't start branching until it was already six feet tall and it just now started to branch out and even the the first leaves that were on there are still here so it's really really healthy and I put a sign on here for somebody not to cut it it's not a weed um, but let me get over here where the sun's a little bit better there we go look at this look at these flower spikes on here I mean this is some bright bright red amaranth and I can't touch the top up there this is as, as tall as my hand will go right here and it's it's well over 10 feet 10 foot tall it has a huge flower on it hopefully it doesn't darken it out hopefully you can see the colors in it but maybe if I put it on here like this you can kind of see 
but it's got bright red flowers, bright red stems. And this is the same one as that red one that was over there that I just showed you. Now this is an amazing variety. I'm definitely going to be keeping some seeds. I'd love to have a field of these grown or a nice patch in the garden. And this will, this plant will produce well over a pound of seeds. Well over a pound of seeds with as many flowers and how big that flower is up there. Um, so I'm going to be keeping that. But this is like some, some variety from like Mexico or from the desert southwest. Whereas the wild variety that grows in here is like this. It's got green leaves, green stem, branches all the way from the bottom all the way up. Real bushy, real short and bushy plant. And it's got green flowers. So let me show you a couple varieties that I found that I think are a cross between this red one and this green one over here.